All right, the mighty E39 BMW with the LS1 conversion is properly engineered. So I thought I'd do a quick video on really summarizing uh, what's required in Victoria to get a car like this engineered. Um, so as you can see, we've got 5.7 LS1. Um, so the main thing you need to do, you need to keep it as stock as possible um, because you have to do an emissions test. So what I've done here, this is an LS1 with a full exhaust, a three inch exhaust. Um, I've got a tri-flow uh, muffler on the back uh, to meet um, noise regulations. So the first thing we're gonna talk about quickly is 90 decibels is what you need to uh, meet for the sound test. Um, and another important thing is you must have an enclosed air box. So this is a pod filter inside. Um, I can see if I can put a photo um, overlay in it, but there's a pod filter inside. So you still get your pod filter uh, for your flow, but it must be enclosed. So that's one thing. Um, try to do as many factory things as you can. So um, I've got GM uh, heater core lines uh, plumbed straight into the factory BMW uh, heater core itself. Um, standard fuel rail um, it's just i really simplified the fuel system so we're using just a couple of an fittings a fuel pressure regulator that goes into the standard gm uh, fuel lines underneath uh, sorry bmw fuel lines underneath um, just gone factory routing for everything um, now what else was the engineer looking for he wanted a coolant overflow bottle uh, which i've uh, mounted um, just tried to do standard kind of um, uh, radiator lines. Uh, what else? Uh, all the wires and everything just had to be cable tied, so it looks a little bit ugly now, but uh, that's it. Uh, all the standard emission stuff, so we've got factory map sensor, map sensor in the back. Um, I obviously got upgraded coils and leads and all that kind of stuff, but just make sure your engine's in good health because it does have to pass that emissions test. So the BMW, the 5 Series, I got really lucky. So the engineer just wanted uh, correct placement of the engine. Um, now this car came out with a V8, which was a massive help. So the engine placement worked well with all the crash sensors. Um, all, all the fabrication stuff was done by Brinton Customs uh, up in New South Wales. So everything was a, of a high quality. It met all the, you know, all the proper thicknesses, all the proper welds, that kind of stuff. Um, the, the gearbox bolted up with a pretty much a standard, uh, almost a standard mounting system, but just with the Brintex, uh, Brintex Customs uh, mount on it. Uh, but it, I think it maintains a bit of the GM stuff as well. Um, so what they want to look for is pretty much, I, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm probably kind of making that up here as I go, but I guess they don't want to see too much hacking and modifying um, with the placement of things. Um, luckily with the TR6060, you can have a remote shifter and they've just done a quick, uh, really simple linkage system which works really well. Um, and the other thing was, yeah, so this car came out with a V8. So you wanted to see um, the V8 brakes. Uh, so I just put in 540 uh, brakes, which is the same from 535, 540 and M5. Um, this has an M5 diff in it. So you wanted to see a V8 ratio. Um, to help with the torque or something like that. I thought it would have been with the strength. But yeah, I could have just put a 540 diff in it, which would have been pretty cheap. But I mean, this is fully rebuilt uh, with a guy who can super lock LSD, but that was over the top. Uh, the, so what I'm gonna say is go for a, a car that has factory bolt-on upgrades. So I didn't have to engineer it for brakes. I didn't have to engineer it for a diff. As you can see, the engineering code is LA1 and LB1, which is uh, engine and gearbox. So uh trying to keep it really simple here this car in other countries came out with a manual gearbox so i just bought a factory uh pedal box you don't, that doesn't have to be engineered uh that just bolts straight in and then you just get um with the hydraulic fitting you just get an adapter uh, that uh, converts it all makes it really simple so yeah just do it was he back there so just do it as simple as you can uh, any questions, put them down below. But yeah, the main things is you've got to meet emissions. It can't be too loud. It can't be too low. Have an airbox. Have it all clean. Um, have as many of this uh, kind of insulation uh, over all your um, hoses as possible. Have all your P-clips. Do it right. 
Um, and just remember, modifications come last. Get it engineered. I've got heads and cams to stick in this, um, but now I can. It's engineered, it's gonna roadworthy in three days, then I can do all the fun stuff. Thanks guys, any questions, put them down below. I'm out.